least Class A of the SO British Touring Car Championship. Andy Rouse and Rob Gravitt, keen rivals all season, clashed at Silverstone, with Rouse emerging as the front-running Class A winner. This was the kind of action we'd associated with touring car racing for the last couple of years. The contrast was the dogged manner that John Cleland picked his way to 11 class wins and the overall title for Vauxhall. But honours were going to be a lot tougher in 1990 with a radical change to the championship class structure. Class A would remain, but the rest of the field would go into the new two-litre formula. And for Cleland, that came in the form of an all-new Vauxhall Cavalier. The two-litre formula was designed to bring in a wider range of cars, like the Honda Civic for Ray Arms and for Mark Hales, the Colts to Ryan. But it was still dominated by the BMWs, led by the 1988 champion Frank Sittner. He'd be partnered by members of the BMW junior team, selected in trials, the first qualifier, Kelvin Burt. The selection process was very tough. They initially wrote to 50 drivers and invited them to attend. I think there were about 20 on the day who finally turned up. Uh, they then whittled it down to 10 by a series of tests and finally the three which were chosen. And now here at Alton Park you're quicker than the main man aren't you? Well it's my favourite circuit so I would have hoped to have gone well round here. Kelvin Burt impudently qualifying ahead of Frank Sidner. Andy Rouse also qualified well but only after surveying the damage of a big accident in practice. I took to the grass at probably 125 miles an hour so I just banked and skipped across the field. Hit it quite hard actually the car went in on the, uh, on the front right corner and then sort of flipped around and hit the wall, tire wall sideways and uh, rolled up onto its side. So when I came to rest, I was lying on the side. And when practice for the opening round at Alton Park was over, Andy Rouse had planted that Sierra Cosworth on the front row, but he'd given second best to the pole position man, Rob Gravitt. Second row, the two Labatt's cars, Lawrence Bristow, just ahead of teammate Tim Harvey, then on the third row, Kelvin Burt, a really outstanding qualifying performance to head the two-litre field. Mike Smith with Graham Good on row four, and the 1989 champion John Cleland alongside the 1988 champion Frank Sittner on row five. A slightly smaller, but certainly a competitive field, and commentator for the opening round of the SO British Touring Car Championship is Murray Walker. Excellent weather, gigantic crowd, 20 laps, 56 miles, a clutch start this year. Rob Gravitt in the white Sierra in pole position on the left, Andy Rouse on the right, and it's go. Great starts by Rob Gravitt and Sean Walker. And now we're in car with Marnie, his two-litre BMW, Graham Good on the left, Mike Newman comes through on the right, and Newman hits Good, who prepares his car. There's gratitude for you. Now, down to Cascades, Rob Gravitt is leading, Sean Walker's in second position, then it's Andy Rouse, Harvey and Bristow, and Mike Smith in the red and white Sierra. Now we're looking back from Gravitt's car in the lead, that's Sean Walker behind, Andy Rouse on the right, 560 horsepower, Rouse goes through up into second position. Now they're round Island Bend at 150 miles an hour, up to the Shell hairpin. Rob Gravitt leading, Rouse, Walker, Harvey, Bristow, Mike Smith. On to Forston she came, second gear, 60 miles an hour. Looking back at Andy Rouse in second position. Going up towards Druids. That's a third gear, right hand corner at about 80 miles an hour. And as they go round Nickerbrook, Andy Rouse is challenging Rob Gravitt, coming up to Druids. And Rouse is going through. No, he's not. He dropped back a bit. Underneath the bridge at Nickerbrook. Now they're at Druids. Gravitt, Rouse, Sean Walker, Harvey, Bristow in fifth position. And Rouse is attacking again, and this time he does go through. And Harvey goes past Walker, up into third position. Tim Harvey, number three, on the left. So it's Rouse, Gravitt, Harvey, Walker, Bristow, rounding Lodge, up through to complete the lap. Rouse, Harvey, Harvey has gone past Rob Gravitt, up into second place. Rob Gravitt goes down to third position, it's Sean Walker fourth. Now we're looking back at Walker, Walker's Harry and Gravitt is going past, and Bristow goes through, up into fourth position. Rob Gravitt down to fifth place, this is Andy Rouse leading. The master leads. And now we're with John Cleland's Vauxhall Cavalier and he's not at all happy. He's been passed by Graham Good's Ford Sierra. Approaching Shell. 
Lawrence Bristow, number 10, coming up to Teague Walker, or is he for fourth position? Sean Walker keeps him back as they go up to Forston Chicane. They're both in, Andy Rouse prepared, turbocharged Ford Sierra Cosmos. Two litres, 560 horsepower, they're leaving Rob Gravit well behind, approaching Nickerbrook, 150 miles an hour, up Clay Hill. There's Bristow chasing Sean Walker. Now up to Druids. Rouse locks up his left front. Round Druids. Bristow behind it. And you can see the gap between the first two and the second two. Now there's the leader, Andy Rouse, chased by Tim Harvey. Sean Walker in third position. Then Lawrence Bristow, number 10, trying to challenge on the outside. Walker keeps the line. Now this is Bristow's opportunity. They're coming through to complete the lap. Sean Walker, 21 years racing experience, comes from Elstree, ex Sports 2000 champion. And Lawrence Bristow, number 10, seven years racing experience. And into the pits comes Rob Gravitt. Don't know what the problem is. They're all looking very confused. Rob Gravitt waving away brake dust. What's the problem? Started missing on the warm-up lap and it's cutting out completely, so I don't know what's happening. I think it might be plugs, I don't know. Well, it certainly looks like plugs, they're taking them out. And there's an ignition lead being changed as well. And meantime, Jerry Marney is being passed by the Swedish woman driver Netta Lindgren, both in BMW M3s. And approaching Druids, this is the battle for the lead. Andy Rouse really trying, locks up. Harvey behind him, third and fourth, Walker and Bristow. And Tim Harvey is really going for it now. He's just broken the lap record. One minute, 37.8, 101.9 miles an hour. That's number three, Tim Harvey in second place. But Andy Rouse still leads, leading out of Lodge, completing the lap in car with Tim Harvey. Rouse ahead, over the line at 130 miles an hour. Down through the gears to Old Hall, 60 miles an hour. Down at Cascades, Rouse and Harvey, first and second. Walker and Bristow, third and fourth. They are all in Sierras, but they're using two different makes of tyre, Dunlop and Pirelli. Into Cascades, and Bristow goes through, up into third place, 90 miles an hour, ahead of Sean Walker. And back at Druids, there's Kelvin Burt in the BMW, a superb seventh, leading the two-litre formula. In his first drive for the BMW junior team, ahead of... Frank Sintner and John Cleland there in the Vauxhall Cavalier. And that is the first race for the two-litre Cavalier. And he's third in class, John Cleland. There he is. Out of Cascades. Number three, Tim Harvey on Dunlop, still hanging on to the Pirelli shot. Number one, Andy Rouse in the ICS Sierra. There's Rouse leading. Tim Harvey, the sports car champion, we're with him now. And Andy Rouse's practice shunt has obviously failed to slow him or the car. Rouse leading, Harvey second, Bristow third, Walker fourth. Mike Newman is in fifth position. Mike Smith is in sixth place. Kelvin Burke leading the two litres is in seventh position. Riding with Tim Harvey. And look at Andy Rouse. There he is, effortlessly leading. Well, not effortlessly. This must be a considerable effort for Andy. And only now is Rob Gravick getting out of the pits. New plugs, new plug lead, and he's well down. Old Hall, Andy Rouse, Tim Harvey, Hammer and Tongs for the lead. Kelvin Burt, number 56, BMW, now down to eighth, chasing Graham Good Sierra. And then there's a terrific scrap. That is Ray Bellum, number 51, the double world championship sports car driver, ahead of Ian Forrest's BMW. And ahead of them are Jerry Marnie and Letton Lindgren's BMWs. Down to Cascades, a superb drive by 22-year-old Kelvin Burt. He won his place in the three-man BMW junior team from over 70 applicants. He was by far the fastest two-litre car in practice, and now he's driving like a veteran to lead the two-litre formula. Lou 
losing very little ground to the vastly experienced Graham Good in his 560 horsepower Ford Sierra. And Bird's faster in the 2 litre, 260 horsepower ballasted and rev limited BMW than last year's 2.3 litre, 320 horsepower BMW. Druids, Rouse leading, Harvey second. And Tim, the double BRDC sports car champion who drives for the Spice team in sports car world championship races, beat Rouse at Macau, but it doesn't look as though he's going to beat him today. There goes Andy. <laughs>